Is it recording? How am I supposed to know? She said there would be a red light on it if it was. Is there a red light? Um, I think so. It's blinking. Is it supposed to blink? All she said was that there should be a red light. Well, there's a red blinking light. Ugh, I wish she was just here to do it for us. It's always so confusing by ourselves. But when she's here, I can work it like a charm. Just say the disclaimers. I'm getting there. Ahem. Welcome, listeners. Nice to speak to you all again. We hope you've been well. Just a couple of new things, though. Since Darina left Discord, she's created an Instagram that you guys can follow if you'd like to ask us questions in future videos. She posts updates and stuff there. So be on the lookout for any upcoming announcements of video topics, merch, and so on. She'd also like you guys to know that her audio prices have risen a little to make it more worth her time. Keep in mind that she does most of this on her own, so it can be very overwhelming for one person. And thanks for supporting not only her, but us as well. It blows my mind how fascinated you guys are with our life over here, but it's amazing nonetheless. Be sure to wear headphones for the 3D effects, and not to steal any of this audio because someone bought it. Speaking of stealing, there was a recent case of someone copying one of our stories. It may very well be our most popular one, but it was taken down eventually. Guys, please keep in mind that Darina allows certain audios to be used for any edits or anything. The only condition is that proper credits must be in place. I mean, really, how hard is it to type a couple of words like inspired by or original creator? Sometimes she collaborates with writers and they've also put a ton of work into the audio as well, making your favorite stories come to life. Just do the right thing. It's really not that hard. And she always links credits in the descriptions of these videos. So if you've liked a certain singing cover or storyline, be sure to check the descriptions so you know who the creators of your favorites are. I believe that's all there is to say, so... Sebastian, would you do the honors? Why, yes, I would. Gladly. And... action. November 14th, 1893. Here we are again, Ren. You haven't quite done what you've set out to do, have you? In my last entry, I had wrote in this dumb diary that I would be getting over these intruding thoughts and feelings. And when I saw Sebastian and Ominous today, that I would wake up refreshed and those butterflies would finally leave my stomach. Now remember, students. Next week, we will be covering various methods to help you remember your dreams or remember dreams in more detail. Make sure to read your assigned pages, and I encourage you to track your dreams over the weekend. Ah, there she is. The girl with a mystery. What? Thanks for gracing us with your presence today. Oh, superbly sneaky one. A rare wren out in the wild. What a moment indeed. Okay, I get it. I haven't seen much of you two either. That's not our fault. We've been in our usual spots. Is the Undercroft not enough for you anymore? No, it's just school. I've been sort of busy these past couple of days. Why? Going on adventures without us? Sure. Studying with Natsai Onai is all kinds of adventurous. Natsai? She's the Gryffindor, yeah? From Africa? <sighs> Not the Red House. That colour hurts my eyes. Ominous is lucky compared to them. Oi! What was that for? For being obnoxious. You're obnoxious. That hurt. You can't shame someone simply because of their house colour. And be grateful you can at least see them. I wasn't shaming them. I was just sharing my opinion. Well, share it more respectfully then. And even if you don't like their colour, that doesn't mean you won't like them. <laughs> Natsai is actually quite friendly, and we were only studying together. It's not like we're best friends. Well, we could have studied. Remember when you promised you'd help me with my defense against the Dark Arts assignment? Yes, I remember. And I'll get to it, Keeper's Honor. But you don't even take divination. I'd certainly say it's helpful that her mother is the teacher. She's bound to have some knowledge on the subject. It's okay, Ren. 
You don't have to explain yourself to us. Personally, though, I would like to know why this assignment has taken so much of your time as to go four days with no word from you. <laughs> I won't lie, so would I. You just sort of dropped off the face of the Earth. Let's just say I... was on a self-discovering journey. With the daughter of the divination professor? I didn't know you swung that way, Ren. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm happy you found it. I hope you feel more free now that you've told us your preference of... And we accept you. And we're proud of you. What are you two even talking about? Are you... not coming out as... I thought... Didn't you just... Oh, no, no. Merlin, you've got it all wrong. Uh, did you think but I you was... you just said self-discovery and all the time with Natsai. Yes, but I'm not a lesbian. Good gracious. I was talking about analysing my dreams with her. That's what we're studying in class right now. Dreams. Oh, my word. Did you think I had a crush on her? Well, it certainly sounded like it. Gosh, no. I mean... Not that I would mind being into girls. They're pretty, I just don't feel attracted to them. No, I'm, uh, I'm straight. Oh, well that's good. No, not good. That was the wrong word. I wouldn't, not like you if you weren't, I mean- Oh my goodness, can we please stop talking about this? Yes, please. This isn't the best conversation topic prior to lunch. Fine, but that still doesn't explain why you haven't talked to us for days on end. Oh, look at that. They're serving treacle tarts. My favourite. Rent. Well, I better grab a seat before it's all gone. It is the best dessert, after all. Wait, but... Bye, boys. That was weird. I know, right? Everyone knows that pumpkin tarts are the best kind. What? Ugh, you're such a... Uh, where are you going? Hey, wait a minute. Ominous. What did I do now? Ren, would you please hold still? I'm sorry, but I'm exhausted from today and you've been shuffling around for 30 minutes. All right, all right. I'm sorry, Poppy. I just... I've been having trouble sleeping for the past few nights. I've been dreaming about certain things. There's these people I really care about. And I've always thought it was some sort of strong friendship thing, you know? Considering that we've went through a life-threatening situation together... I chalked it up to being some kind of trauma bond or something. But then, we started studying dreams in divination class and how they intertwine with your divinatory ability, and how true some of the signs in them can be. And I was doing great up until they poofed into my dream. And not just any dream either. It was one full of lust and ro romance. So then that got me thinking, am I... Am I in love with them? Both of them were in there. It's bad enough to think about a friend in that way. But two of them. I've been getting together with someone to try and figure out what it means, but I think it just made everything worse because now those said people are even more curious than they were before, and I can't even tell them why. And now every time I see them, I'm either running off or being bloody fake. If I tell them, it'll just cause more trouble than before, possibly break up our friendship. Do you think I should tell them? <sighs> I think you'll end up breaking more than just your friendship if you don't get some sleep. It's important, you know. Right. Yeah, okay. Sleep is good. Good night, Poppy. 
Poppy. Poppy, are you okay? At least one of us is managing to get some rest. Ugh. Where's my... There you are. Lumos. Why does my diary always fall under these damn school books? Eleven forty eight PM. This is the third night in a row. I can't sleep after that dream. And it may be the third one in a row that the dream is repeated. It always starts the same. Sebastian, Ominous and I are together on the fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard. Sebastian, get down. Oh my word, you're going to get in trouble, or worse, get hurt. Get out of that fountain! I'm not getting out unless you tell me. <sighs> Ominous, tell him to get out! All right, Sebastian, get out. No. Well, I tried. Ugh. Sallow, you get down from there this instant, or so help me. I am trying to help you, but I wouldn't even need to be up here if you just told us what's so important about the stupid sheet. I... I can't. Well then, looks like I'll just have to reach up here and... you gross. It's mossy. Ah, and cold. Sebastian, you're going to... Whoa, my foot! Grab it! I'm going to slip! See? I tried to... No, don't... Whoa. Merlin's beard. Except... Oh, it's slippery. Will you just come here? I'm trying. Put your other foot there and... There. Oh, Sebastian, you really know how to get on someone's last nerve, don't you? Me? You're the one who refused to tell me what was so important about it, that it couldn't be replaced. Okay, let's all just calm down. I don't even know why down. I bothered if you're so ungrateful. Sebastian. It's not like it's legible anymore. Here. See? <sighs> you're right. It's already ripping apart because of how soaked it is. Great. Just great. Perfect. What is it? It's already ruined now, so you could at least tell us what all the fuss was about. It was my divination essay. Now I'm going to have to rewrite the whole thing. And you couldn't have said that before I got in the fountain. What do you mean, me? I told you to get down. I was trying to help. And if you would have just told us, we could have helped you rewrite it instead. No, you couldn't have. It was something personal. A diary entry. You're handing in your diary as an assignment. Not really. It's more of a summarization of this dream that I kept having over the past few days. I was supposed to write about how it correlates into real-life events, but I couldn't figure out how it... did. Until now! Wait, yes! This... this is what happened in the dream. Quick, Sebastian, grab me a sheet of paper. I have to write this down. Does anyone have a quill? Here, use mine. Thank you. Here's your paper, Ren. Thanks. Seb. I'm sorry for getting frustrated with you. You were sweet to try and help me. And help me you have. I would have turned in that half-hearted essay if it wasn't for you knocking it into the fountain. But now I can write an improved version with an actual ending clause. Natty, that's what Nat's eye goes by. She told me about how reoccurring dreams can sometimes be a manifestation of sorts. About how the energies of the world and desires of the heart come to form something truly magical but I had convinced myself that it was all just pining delusions, considering what happened in it. What do you mean, what happened in it? This. This happened in it. The fountain, the climbing, even the conversation we're having right now. Uh, I mean, not exactly word for word, but visions of it. Foggy passes. It's mostly pretty accurate. Apart from the fact that we haven't had a love confession, but I suppose that's because wait, wait, I- Wait, wait, slow down. What? <laughs> Hold on now. Just exactly what happened in that dream of yours? Huh? I could have swore I heard you say there was a love confession in there somewhere. Didn't you, Ominous? Yes, I most definitely heard that exact phrase. You mean I... I didn't. I couldn't. I... Oh, no. Did I just... I didn't mean to... I mean... Please tell me I'm dreaming. That this is the same dream all over again. Nope. This is very much the real thing, darling. Not a dream this time. 
Are you sure? This is too coincidental. I mean, it changes each time a little bit, but a love confession always manages to... There's no way this is real. Nope. Not real. I hate to break it to you, love, but this is most absolutely real la, life. La la la! I can't hear you. I'm too busy writing this essay in this dream to listen. Not that it's real anyway, because if it was, right now would be the moment I confessed to liking the both of you. But that hasn't happened yet, has it? I would count that as a confession, wouldn't you, Sebastian? Oh, I absolutely do. No, no, that wasn't supposed to... You weren't. No, no, no! This isn't happening. Ugh, whatever. I have to get ready for divination anyway. I'm leaving this conversation now. Why? I thought this was a dream, isn't it, Dollface? I... I mean, it is, but, you know, just in case, suppositionally, that it's not... I wouldn't want to turn in this assignment late after all the stress it's put me through and... But you're not too sure anymore. <gasps> Are you, sweet girl? I, I am... I am sure. Really? Hmm. I must be reading you wrong then. You seemed a bit confused by the way you're shaking like a leaf. I'm... I'm just a bit cold is all. Oh, well that's funny. I didn't think you could get cold in dreams. Okay, okay. You caught me, okay? I like the both of you. I had a dream about you, and that's why I've been avoiding you for days. It's how oh, it's why I shake around you, and it's why I'm trying to deny this conversation even happened. So please just let me go before it gets any more embarrassing. What's embarrassing about it, sweetheart? Me? I'm what's embarrassing. Liking the both of you at once. Stuttering like an idiot and lying to myself to try and... You're in my diary, you know. That's why I couldn't tell you what it was in the case that you would see it when you fetched it out of the water. And now I keep rambling To be honest, I think your rambling is kind of cute. And I'm flattered that I was in your dreams. You mean you're not awkward or upset or anything? Why would we be upset that our crush not only likes one of us back, but both of us? Our crush? Our crush? Mm-hmm. The truth is, Ren, we've actually liked you for quite a while. You... you have? Yes, pretty girl. The amount of sleep we skipped simply to stay up talking about you is too much to count. But we didn't want to say anything, because we didn't want to intimidate you into any decisions that you might not want. Ren? Uh, hello? Sorry, this is usually the part where I wake up. Ren, when are you going to believe us when we say that this is... I mean, do you need more proof or something? I'm not really sure I'd ever get over... <clears throat> Sebastian, I... She still doesn't believe you. Let me try. But I... Do you believe us now?